Let's say it's 2 or 3 a.m. and I'm editing raw clips for a client. In this example, we'll say it's the dubstep DJ Murata. What six edits would I do to a clip straight out of camera after confirming that the clip is usable? The first thing I would do is completely get rid of any of the additional fluff in the beginning of the video that isn't necessary. Like, you can see in the beginning of this other clip taken from that same night that I'm raising my camera up and adjusting my frame. And obviously we can get rid of that. For this clip on the timeline, I already know that I want it to start around the 20 frames mark. And once your playhead is in place, you can just hit the Q key, and it will delete everything before the playhead. After that, since we know these clips will be posted on social media, we want the audio to ease in. Instead of having a super loud noise play right as someone doom scrolls to this video with their volume on. To do this, head over to the Audio Transitions folder in the Effects panel, Crossfade, Constant Gain, and drag the Constant Gain effect onto the beginning of the audio clip. Since I know this specific clip is insanely loud and really hardcore dubstep, I'll actually highlight the audio clip, click the G key, and lower the gain, aka volume, by at least 5 decibels, just for good measure. After that, I'll highlight the main clip and head over to the Lumetri color panel to give it a quick color correction, assuming we're not using any LUTs or presets in this case. What I'll usually do first is open up the basic correction panel so I can adjust the temperature to be a little bit more blue and the tint to be more purple. I'll increase the saturation, exposure, and contrast accordingly, but never anything crazy. I'll then hop over to the creative panel and increase the vibrance to around 50-ish. And lastly, I'll hop over to the curves panel and give the raw clip a nice fade and maybe an S-curve if it looks good. I'll usually give the video a watch or two at this point and adjust the colors and exposure accordingly. Usually we can end the color correction there, but since the video does have pyro in it, sometimes I'll also color grade on top of color correction just to make specific sections pop a bit more. To do this, I'll slide my playhead to a point in the clip where there's pyro, and then I'll grab this eyedropper tool for hue versus saturation, and click on the pyro and it will pinpoint the exact color that was selected. By simply raising this dot, it will increase the saturation of that orange hue in the entire video, obviously including the pyro. And then we can do the same for the hue versus hue section and give the pyro a more intense red color. Usually with color grading, you'll add the edits to an adjustment layer so it doesn't affect the orange hues of the entire clip, but for this example, it's fine. After that, I'll find the point where I quickly turn my camera away from the artist and use it as the ending of my clip. I'll find a good ending spot and then click the W key to delete everything after it. Then while fully zoomed into the timeline, I'll just click Command plus Shift plus K six times at the end of the clip and delete every other segment, giving the raw clip a clear ending. Sometimes I'll add my logo to those empty slots, but it really depends on how much of a time crunch I'm in. Usually if it's client work, I won't add them, but if I'm posting it on my Instagram or YouTube, I will. Now that all the edits are complete, while the timeline window is highlighted, I'll click Command plus M to get to the export window. Title the clip accordingly, choose a location, and for this example, I'll leave it as my desktop, and then I'll just click Export to wrap the initial edit before airdropping it to my phone for a test watch. You can also see all of the export settings I use here. This is a 24 frames per second 4K clip, for example. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing, guys. Let me know if you want more raw clip tutorials like this one. Now, before I officially end this video, I'm going to play the 28 second edited clip that we just worked on. But I warn you, if you're not a dubstep or EDM fan, this is going to sound like straight up noise.